Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. six months of owning my Avid CNC and I decided today would be a good day to show you how to properly maintain your Avid CNC and yeah first thing you want to do is turn it on and so you can move it up and down move it around and yeah let's get started Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grease the upper part. And the way you want to do that is you're going to see a gear inside here. It's a round gear that goes up to this down. And basically, take your, uh, What you're going to want is you're going to want a small grease gun with a needle point on the top. And it's good to have a little rag ready. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually lift up this, this cloth right here this little protector cover, and I'm going to grease this. So you can see inside there that I've greased it from the top to the bottom. And you only need to do it on one side. Now what I'm going to do is run that thing up and down. Okay, next up we're gonna do we're gonna do the x-axis, just this way. So we've got four four bearings, two on each side, and we're gonna we're gonna put three pumps in each one. Same thing on the other side.
Okay, now we put three pumps of grease in each bearing. We're going to go ahead and move the move the x-axis back and forth and make it move. Okay, so now we've got our x-axis bearings greased. We've got our, our z-axis greased. Now we're going to do our y-axis. And we have a block bearing right here on the, right here. And we also have one on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and put three pumps in each one of these. And we're going to repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so you have basically two block bearings down here, two block bearings down here for the for your y-axis. You have four block bearings up here for your x-axis, and then you have your uh, screw screw to, to grease on the on the z-axis. The next thing I want to do is I want to move the y-axis back and forth and basically loop up that grease. Okay, once we got all our bearings greased, the greasing's done. Next up, I'm going to get my shop vac, my shop vac turned on, and I'm going to go around and clean, clean all my rails, and try to get it cleaned up really good.
And that's about it. That's about it. so every three to six months, depending on how much you use your machine. I tend to use my machine uh, at least five out of seven days each week. And I usually do one or two projects on here each day, whether it's cutting boards or some art projects or whatever it is. But um, yeah, maintenance is pretty easy. Every three to six months, you just grease up your things, clean your rails, check your belts, just kind of go over everything. And, and um, the other thing that I do is I'll take the Allen wrenches and I'll just go around and verify that stuff is tight. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later.